Hi, I'm Christy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm here with a book haul. So this is just like a spring massive book haul that I have of books I've collected or have gotten in from the past couple months. Some of these as well is a whole stack of books I got from the recent Readers Take Denver book signing, which I have a whole like vlog of that signing if you want to check it out on my channel as well. So yeah, lots of book mail, lots of special editions, lots of me treating myself, <laughs> some books from publishers as well, which I will like mention what everything is when I get to it. So without further ado, since I have a lot of books to show and then I can get them stacked on my shelves, I'm going to run through them. So we'll start with the books that I got from the Readers Take Denver signing. So there, Rebecca Yaros had an ARC copy of her new fantasy dragon book which is fourth wing so I was so excited that she had these at her table we actually went the second day it was a surprise that she even got these but she mentioned that her publisher surprised her and got her some books in time to bring so we went the second day and she actually still had copies or like had set some aside for the next day so super excited because this is one of my anticipated releases for May because it comes out on May 2nd so we have a map here came with a sticker and then she signed it as well. It was so fun to meet her and she said she's so excited for this project. This is the first book in a new series. So excited. Can't wait to dive into this one. Next at the signing, it was actually the first table that we went to was Jewel E. Ann's because she mentioned she would have advanced copies of If This Is Love because it came out like the following week after we were at the signing. So went there, got it. It came with some art print and she signed it as well. And I just read this one, actually finished it today when I'm filming. Loved it so much. Gave it five stars. This is a contemporary romance, western ranch setting. There's an age gap in here. The hero is eight years older. It's forbidden and super angsty as well. Loved it so much. I chat all about it in like a video I did recently chatting about like new releases I read. So I'll link that in the description, but I gave this one five stars. <laughs> then I grabbed Rouge by Greer Rivers. This is the newest book in her Tattered Curtain series, which the first book was Phantom, which is a dark Phantom of the Opera retelling where the villain gets the heroine. I always love seeing Greer Rivers at signings. She's actually been at both of the two signings that I've been to. So I picked up Phantom when I saw her last year at the Love in Vegas signing. And then when I saw her here at Denver, I wanted to grab this one as well. She's so fun to me. She always gives out fun stickers and matching bookmarks. And then the interior for her books are just stunning, which is why I like picking up copies of them. Like the interior formatting is just everything. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. And I also pre-ordered a copy of The Redemption from Nikki Sloan. I am obsessed with her Filthy Rich American series. And this is book four in that series. I love that series so much. It definitely has like taboo vibes and it's just so bingeable. So I loved this one and wanted a copy for my shelves because I didn't have it. And she had like a pre-order special going on. So she signed it. And yeah, it was so fun to meet her. And also there was a ton of vendors there as well. So a ton with like special editions and book box companies. So this is a special edition from Celestia Book Crate. So this is a Julie Ann book. It is A Place Without You. I just thought the art style on here was so cute. Love the old like VW van, the cute like rock star theme. I'm assuming it's rock star from the music notes. Interior is super cute as well. And then Julianne signed it for me as well. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. I love a good floppy special edition. <laughs> then I also grabbed this one from Greer Rivers Table. So this is Catching Lightning. And this is a, I want to say dark contemporary, like sports football romance that she co writ with Kaylee King. So they were actually both at the signing. So I was able to get them both to sign this and personalize it for me. So that was super fun. And I'm excited to check this one out. And then also, like I mentioned, there's special editions at the signings. So the last chapter at Bookshop, they had their own special signing they were doing just for this event. So they did this one, which is Three Simple Rules by Nikki Sloan. It has gold on here, which like hopefully it's going to show, but it is stunning, like the gold flecks all over. It did come with some art prints and some like not suitable for work art prints as well. And then since Nikki was there, she signed it too. So yeah, I haven't read this one, but I'm excited to check it out. I have loved everything I've read by Nikki Sloan. She's just like so bingeable and entertaining and fun. And like, I'm also just not one who can pass up a special edition offer. So I had to grab it. Speaking of special editions, this one is from Sarah Kate. So this is Illicit. And this is a signing exclusive that she's doing this year. So this is a bind up of four of her like novellas or short stories she's done. So here is the cover. Love the like gold on here. There's even gold on the spine as well. Hopefully that shows up. This one has four different books right there that you can see that she's done before. I have read two of these already and so I will probably read the other ones so yeah there's that it's signed excited for this and I'm a sucker for anything gold <laughs> then these next books are from Nikki Castle 
well this one I came with this is five rounds it is the last chapter of bookshop special edition that they did so I actually got this recently before going to the signing and it took it there for her to sign for me she was excited to see this one in person because she loves the formatting on the insides she was showing like the cover model who was there with her which is Jameson so I was talking about how I love this cover and I'm obsessed with like any special edition that she has I mentioned that the other five rounds special edition that she did with fit teacher Rachel for her book box and Nikki was like well do you want a copy do you have a copy and I was like um wait like you have them here like what's happening so she had this one there as well and then signed it for me so I'm so excited so now I have all the covers for five rounds three copies it's totally fine so here's that one and then the back I didn't have two fights yet from her which I've read all of her books and love them so much so she signed this one has like a little dirty note as well from all of the heroes in it love that and then three count this is the special edition she did or like the alternate cover with the cover model on it and so he was actually there at the signing as well and so he signed it and then so did Nikki too which was so much fun they were such a delight to see and Amelie Howard was at the signing as well they did have a couple historical authors there and this is her newest release which it is a YA historical but she was describing it and said it's like Queen's Gambit Bridgerton the Count of Monte Cristo like that whole revenge vibe she was talking about the inspiration behind it as well and it sounded like such a fun time so I decided to grab a copy because they had early releases out this is a hardcover and it just came like she signed it and put this like little sticker in it as well so yeah I'm excited to have this one and it was so nice to finally meet her in person after talking to her online for a while so grabbed this great and precious things from Rebecca Yaros so they had like a bookstore that they were selling books there before the signing happened and a couple people mentioned that this one is so sad and so good and then Jess was reading the back of it and saw that it took place in Colorado which is where we were at for the signing so we were both like let's just get it and have her sign it so we both grabbed a copy of it and then got her to sign it too so yeah I do need to read this one so these next books were freebies that we got for going to the signing this one by Jennifer Propes, Forever in Cape May. I actually won this one in one of the panels that they had. They were like asking questions and like who in the room had traveled the furthest. And so since I came from Alaska in that room at that time, I was the one who traveled the furthest. So they gave me a book from one of the like panel authors, which hearing her talk about her books was so much fun. Hearing all of these authors talk about their books and talk about themselves, like it just makes you want to read all of their books. And so I'm actually excited to check this one out. I know it's from Montlake, so I'm pretty sure it has like the Kindle Unlimited read and listen feature. So yeah, I might check this one out soon. These next three were like in our backpacks that we got for going to the signing. There is A Filthy Sinner by Serena Ackroyd. The director by Renee Rose. This was actually in a promo room that we grabbed and then she was there so she signed our books as well. And then this cute little holiday novella. So Rebecca Zanetti's Holiday Rogue. I love a holiday romance. <laughs> so that was my book haul for the signing and now we'll just get into like other books that I've picked up recently. First up I got this iced out special edition from Fit Teacher Rachel's book box that she does. So it came with like a matching bookmark. It came with a tarot card from Lila Junko. It was signed as well. So yeah I just love Rachel's editions. She does such a great job and they're always like fairly priced. This is the back. Yeah, this is one that I want to read this month actually because I know it's an MM hockey romance and I've heard great things about it. Here's the interior. Like yeah I'm always just impressed with Rachel's special editions. These two were from the recent Bell book box. Oh so they did Black Swan Affair by K.L. Krieg. Love this edition. It is absolutely stunning. And interior as well is just gorgeous. And the other book it came with is Devious Lies by Parker S. Huntington. Again the like sprayed edges and the shiny like red on the flowers. Here's what that one looks like on the inside as well. So yeah, these are both stunning, obsessed with the sprayed edges and excited to have these in my collection. And then these next two are from a Novel Grounds dark and quirky collab that they did. So it's Novel Grounds 10 year anniversary. They did a special edition of book box with dark and quirky with these sprayed edges, obsessed with, like metallic shine. So they did Beautifully Broken Pieces by Katherine Cowles, obsessed like the interior pages stunning and then this formatting as well like just absolutely gorgeous they said they are going to be doing the whole series and I cannot wait to get those ones as well I'm definitely going to be taking this one to Seattle at the end of the month to have Katherine Cowles sign it and I cannot wait 
And the other book in that box was Crew by Tijon. I have never read this author before, but I know people love their books. Here's the interior. Has the pretty silver edges as well. I think they said they're gonna do the rest of the series as well, which I probably won't grab these ones, but I'll definitely grab the Catherine Cowles ones. And then another special edition. So I am a subscriber to Eternal Embers. And so they did a recent one of Nikki Ash and Kay Webster together. So this is the slip case and it's very shiny and gold in the two books. So there is Hidden Truths and Stolen Lies. I just love the art on here and they do such a great job with their special editions. Here's the back. Here's this one and that one. And these are signed by both authors as well. So yeah, I've been impressed with their quality and editions. So have these two. I've read from both of these authors, but I haven't read these two. <laughs> I grabbed the new Ruby Dixon, which is Rajal's Resonance. And this is a spinoff from like her Ice Planet Barbarians and Ice Home series, which I love and have read all of those. <laughs> Had to have this one, especially because it has this back step back moment obsessed like sci-fi alien a step back like I hope she does the whole series like this because I am obsessed. <laughs> so then another one I grabbed recently is a hardcover of The Serpent and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. Loved the like hardcover quality that she had for these so I wanted to grab this. I do still need to read this one and plan it to this month but I did just finish her other trilogy before that so yeah I grabbed this one. I did grab this Winter Chronicles bookish box anthology that they did so this is volume one and I thought it was just absolutely stunning and I was super excited about the authors they have for this. So there are novellas in here from Karina Halley, Amelie Howard, Anita Kelly, Sophie Lark, Hannah Parker, Devney Perry, Kennedy Ryan, Naima Simone, Sierra Simone, Haley Turner, Olivia Wildenstein, Wildenstein, and Harper L. Woods. The sprayed edges are really pretty as well. I actually took this to the Denver signing and had Amelie sign hers. And then Naima Simone signed hers as well because it did come like digitally signed, but I do not like digital signatures. And Anu, I'm seeing actually quite a few of these authors this year at signings. So I'm just going to take it and have each of them sign their little novella. So yeah, that's super fun. And then I got this from Bookish Box as well, which I signed up to try out their special editions because I did like the lineup that they're having of quite a few authors coming up. So this was the first box that I got. So of Beating Wings from Olivia Wildenstein, Wildenstein. And I think this is absolutely stunning. It actually makes me want to read this book really soon. The art on the inside is beautiful and on the back as well. The naked case is stunning. And in the back, I love the shiny pink. I did have a reversible dust jacket as well. So like you could have it this way or you could do this side as well on the book, which I think the whole thing is like stunning. And like I said, I want to read it immediately because it's just so beautiful. Let me know if you've read this author because I definitely want to try her books now. This is one of the reasons that I signed up for the bookish box. So the December book box that they did was Jess Weiss Cups Between Wrath and Mercy. Not gonna lie, I wasn't super impressed with this one. I love the original look better, like the darker vibes. I'm not like a pastel girl, so I wasn't super happy with this one. But like, I love this book so much, so I'll keep it on my shelves. <laughs> but here is this, it's like a light lavender purple. And this one, unlike the other one that I just showed, it didn't come with a dust jacket, which I kind of wish they did, but it is what it is. The stenciled edges, and there is the art on the inside for the hero and the heroine. It's signed by the author as well. Like it has a map and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I do love the original cover better because it definitely has these like darker vibes more. And like I said, I'm just not like a pastel girl, but I did love this book, so I'll keep it on my shelves. And then I did grab My Dark Romeo recently from Parker S. Huntington and LJ Shen. This is like the alternate cover, which I think is so beautiful. And I decided to grab it because I think it was like nine or ten dollars on Amazon. The interior is really pretty as well. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Let me know if you've read it yet. Also had to grab Blame It on the Vodka by Fiona Cole. This is one of my favorite books that I've read this year. I think it's my favorite book for March. Loved it so much. Best friends turned accidentally drunk and married in Vegas. Turned into like a marriage of convenience. Have to make it work. Mutual pining. So, so hot. Loved it so much. So got a special edition of Between Hello and Goodbye by Emma Scott. And this is a special edition that was done with the bookworm box, which has since closed, but this was like one they did. So it's signed. Love this book. It was one of my favorite reads of 2022. So I had to have the special edition. This beauty was the recent trope box for Hello Lovely box. So this is Tempt by Melanie Harlow. Love this book so much. And it came with a step back moment. Like, can we even? Obsessed. Love it so much. And then of course it's signed by Melanie as well. 
I love Hello Lovely Box. I have been a rep for them for a couple years now and I'm just obsessed with them. Like if you ever want to save when you purchase from them of their book boxes or their swag and clothes, my code is always in the description of all of my videos. I'm obsessed with them. Love their company so much. And yeah, their boxes are ones I never want to miss out on because I'm always obsessed with the style they do. I did read this book and loved it. I've read so many of Melanie Harlow's books and I've read this entire series. So this one is One Night Stand Turned the Heroine Finds Out That It Is Her Ex's Dad Set Up. And this is Melanie Harlow's first plus size heroine as well. Love this book. So, so good. And actually really sweet too. So I did just get this one in from the publisher yesterday. So this is Yours Truly the Duke by Amelia Gray. And this is from St. Martin's Press. I believe this is her new release that just dropped in March. So always excited for a new historical. So got a copy from the publisher from Forever of Bookshop Cinderella from Laura Lee Gerke. This is her new book that comes out on June 20th. And I'm so excited to read this one. I think the purple is stunning. I have read a couple from this author in the past and have really enjoyed. So I'm excited for a new historical from her. I also sent an arc from Avon for The Scandalous Lady of London by Sophie Jordan. This one I think just came out in March and it's a new series I want to say from Sophie Jordan. So excited to have this. So then these next four I was sent from Berkeley Romance because I am a like a partner or whatever you want to call it with them. Ruby Spencer's Whiskey Year by Rochelle Billo. Bilo. I actually did just read this one and enjoyed it. I thought it was super cute. So it's basically set in the Scottish Highlands. The heroine decides to leave her New York life and wants to go start over there and become a food cookbook writer. So she moves there where she meets the Scottish Highlands handyman. It's their romance and it was super cute. Like I enjoyed it. I got Isha Unscripted by Berkeley as well. I have read a couple from this author in the past and so I'm excited to read this one. I think this is their first time writing with a Berkeley because I want to say in the past they were with Forever. So yeah, I'm excited to try this one out soon. Then I also got Love and Other Flight Delays by Denise Williams. This is a novella bind up collection of three of her little like airport novellas. So I have read all of these. They're super fun, like just like a quick snack type size of reads. Really cute and fun and definitely lighter on steam. And then they also sent me A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley. This is one I actually didn't request, but I'm excited to try it out. And I think the witchy vibe on here is super cute. And then these next two are more special editions from Hello Lovely Box. Another one of their trope boxes was Sweet Addiction by Jay Daniels. I think the like cooking and a little bakery scene on here is super cute. I know people love this author and so I need to try this out because I've heard great things. And they also did Shame by Fiona Cole. This was part of a different book box they did, not their Trope of the Month box, which I read this one recently and liked it. Like I thought it was entertaining. And then that one actually came with this box. So they did a box for Almo Jones. And so this version of a sicko was in it. And then the Fiona Cole was like an extra that they threw in as well for the bigger box. So yeah, those are those. So I think that's everything that I've gotten in recently. Hopefully it is. If not, you'll see stuff in future hauls. But let me know in the comments what's a book that you recently hauled or if you've grabbed any of these editions that I just showed and got them too, let me know. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.